sorry. Welcome back to Nicklin's Comic Corn Classic Classic Nun Classics. This is episode number 2267 and that was shot number 2161. Now, basically, this is the first of four in a row where I'm discussing basically Doctor Strange and Spider Man traits. First, I'm discussing Mar Masterworks Doctor Strange Volume 2. Now, for this particular train in particular, uh, the first, basically, for, for issues, uh, basically, this book does collect issues of Strange Tales, issues 142 to 168. I am not discussing issues 142 to. Uh, 146 because I discussed it already. If that's for Epic Collection. Yep. Let's see if we can get the right issue number here. No. Here we go. Start with issue 147. Yeah, mostly put basically. You have Doctor Strange, like, start with Doctor Strange in, in Strange Tales, 147, you just walk out of the street. You know, some shopping, just basically normal midday stuff. Kind of as a mugger, which he has it pretty easily. Like, goes to arrest him. Like, please arrest us. Sure. <laughs> yep. And of course, Doctor Strange has still a deal with Bear Mortal as a prisoner. Of course, pays a visit to Clea. So, taking the mindless ones. There's a mention what happened in 146, mind you. And he has to basically deal with this guy called Cthulhu. Uh, Kaluth. Basically, a rival sorcerer. Basically, someone was a rival of, uh, of the ancient one, and that's basically kind of what these these next issues are. But then it comes well when we get to the Doctor Strange issues, then it becomes really, really weird. Like oh my gosh, it becomes really freaking weird. And then we have where Doctor Strange meets up with Umar, Clea's mom. Yes, in Strange Tales one hundred and fifty. Yes, Clea's hot mom. I say she's hot because she is like Clea, the both hot. Oh, by the way, in case you're curious, the writer of these issues are Roy Thomas. Yep, Roy Thomas. Yeah, he took over from Stan Lee, because, of course, Roy Thomas takes over every single series Stan Lee worked on. I mean, can you think of one series Stan Lee worked on that Roy Thomas did not take over? But Bill Aaron, the artwork. The thing with Umar, I find interesting, is that, well... She is, in fact, Dumamu's sister. Yes, the flaming head guy. Yeah, so that means Bows Kulu. And Umar gets basically ta uh, gets take take her on. Now, the thing is, you probably think at this point, does she know that Clea basically, well, is Luck Strange? Ah, uh, she doesn't really care. So we'll see how Doc Trains and Doc Mentions stuff in these next few issues. Here we take out the Mindless Ones. Yes, the Mindless Ones. A creatures who are commonly associated with Doctor Strange. And then we have Stan Lee take back over again with Mary Severn. Yeah, Stan Lee takes over the book again. And you might be curious, though. Okay. So, how long does Stan Lee stay on the book for? Does it do the remaining issues of the series? When it comes to strange tales. Well, he does until issue 152. He takes back over 150 and he leaves 152 again. Yeah. So he's back here for three issues and then he's done. Yep, he's done. We have more stuff. Of course, he's trying to finish it with a fight with Umar. Yep. 
And Umar is on Earth. It's more awesome, like the strange stuff in here. And then we meet the awesomeness that is the Living Tribunal. Yep, this guy. I believe this is his debut. And here's the strange thing about this guy. Did you know this creature is deceased? You're thinking, what? He is? Yeah, currently he's gone. How? Got killed by the Beyonders during the events of... Uh, uh, he got killed, I think it was New Avengers Volume 3, number 30. Hickman killed him off. Yep, him killed off a, a character... Now, here's the strange thing about this character. Usually, mostly cosmic characters from Sinkies were mostly... A lot of them were designed by Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby had nothing to do with this character. Nope. And right, Tom sticks back in. Of course he does. Yeah, deal with him. The Doctor Strange goes back home in issue 159. By the way, we're actually very close to wrapping up the uh, the Strange Tales well comic for Doctor Strange, and Doctor Strange would eventually return to Strange Tales when the book was revived, but in reprints. Yep, reprints. Yeah, here's the strange thing about the book. Uh, I'll get to well, I'll, I'll get to a little fun fact later. So, and then basically, by the end of the one he has a he continues his fight basically Baron Mordo again. Yep, fights up against Baron Mordo. And this girl who is not Clea. Of course, by this other creature again, and then of course, and we're. So they would love a tribunal. Yeah, then of course the Then we have the guy called Jim Lawrence take over an issue. Yes. Or you have Doctor Strange going on dimension find a snail. It's weird stuff because Doctor Strange is a little bit weird. And here I'm just oh we have some laboratory and runs into Baron Mordo. Actually, no, no, Baron Mordo, somebody else. Then you have Doctor Strange fighting a robot. Yes, Doctor Strange fighting a robot. Which seems, that seems strange. Because it is. And then he has to take on his, his, his mentor. And then, of course, he's to be banished from this little dimension. Yeah, we're right over here, 168, where he gets banished, and <clears throat> he goes back home, and he gets his own he gets his own comic book. Yep, finally does, and it continues the numbering of this series with 169. Yeah, but doesn't last very long. Yeah, I can't do low sales. I'll get to that in a minute. So, yeah, here's kind of the strange thing. So I think this book ended 168. It was brought back a decade later. Same numbering. Ignored Doctor Strange for some reason. And was brought back with issue 169. And it continued into issue 181. Where it had two features in the book. It first had Doctor Voodoo. Yes, Doctor Voodoo. And Adam Warlock got featured in the book. Yes, he did. Then pretty much the book ended with 181. But it continued a little on. For a little bit. For some more issues even after 181. 181 is kind of in the way the final issue of the series. Of that one, 182 to 188 is pretty much all reprints. That's all it is. Yep. But in the case of this particular train in particular, I give it a 10 out of 10. Just pure awesomeness. With that, we're at Doctor Strange. Of course, Doctor will officially return to an actual Strange Sales book in the 80s when his second volume concluded. Yep. Yes, it did. So, next up we have is. Not that one. Nope, not that one.
and so we have his Amazing Spider-Man Epic Collection Volume 20 Cosmic Adventures. Like in the case of Doctor Strange trade, there's going to be some stuff I'm skipping over here because we're here before. This collects issues from Amazing Spider-Man 126, 130, uh, two, uh, 326, 333, and 24. Sp- I mean, Spectacular Spider-Man uh, issues... 158 and 160 and number 10 for that series we'll be starting 159 to 61 and number 6 now a lot of this I'm skipping over like the Spectrum Spider-Man issues we'll be Spider-Man and most of the amazing Spider-Man because that's the Axe Avengers that I've already discussed already but it's amazing to talk about here so we're jumping to now the annuals themselves are just basically just a three part story known as My Tiny Adventure where it's simply Spider-Man team up with uh, Scott Lang Ant Man for Serious Ventures. Yep. And we have Steve Tico doing those annuals. Doing the artwork of those annuals. Yep. Now I have to get past the uh, X Ventures. X Ventures takes a lot of this trade. My gosh, it does. We're not at the end just yet. <sighs> okay, finally. Now moving on past the events that you... For issue 330, uh, 330 and 331, it's a team-up story with the Punisher. Yep, the Punisher. Yeah, Spider-Man team is for this two-part story. Eric Larson does the artwork for these issues. Yep, Eric Larson does, with damage leaning in the writing. Yeah, it's just a quick two-part story with them. Last issue 331. And then 332, we had the return of Venom. Yep, Venom's returning. Mm-hmm. For these, for this issue here, I think he pops up for the next issue. Yes, yeah, Venom pops up for the issue too, and they also take on Six and Stone. There's also a guy named Jonathan sees in these issues, who is Mary Jane Watson's stalker. Yeah, Mary Jane Watson gets stalkers over the years for apparently no reason. Yeah, this guy first showed up in three hundred four. Yeah, this guy is a top of only character. Yep, um, but yeah, uh, the book itself is really good. Gives this book a 9 out of 10. Okay, so that's it particular view. Uh, next up, not a comic corner. Okay, next video. Bye.